what's up guys uh, Wrestlemania 17 review my opinion my favorite Wrestlemania here we go William Regal versus Chris Jericho that's for the Intercontinental title um a pretty decent opener not the best opener in the world but a lot of fast paced action a lot of nice counters reversals Chris Jericho got the win with a lion salt Give the match two and a half stars. Right to censor versus APA and Taz with a six man tag team match. This was at a time where the right to censor was basically censoring everything. When someone would go out and take a table and try to sm smash someone with a head in the head with a chair, the RTC would come out, he would hear their music, they would take that weapon away. That's why everybody hated them. Um they get defeated because uh, Bradshaw hits the clothesline from hell on the God, the Good Father. Wasn't the Godfather at this time. Um, Kane defeats Big Show Raven for the Hardcore title. It's a very brutal match. We got one spot where Kane and Big Show go through a wall. Kane goes through a door. Raven goes through a glass window. It was pretty sick. Um. Uh, Kane run, runs over Raven's leg. I think that was accidental. That was pretty funny. And Kane hits a huge leg drop off the stage into like this little box thing next to the stage set up. But you can tell he completely misses Big Show and he pins Big Show. I uh, get three and a half stars. Very fun match. Eddie Guerrero defeats Tess. Tess did a lot of his moves in this match. You saw like all of his arsenal in this match. Tilt war, tilt war, a power bomb, tilt world slam, big boot, pump handle slam, uh, suplexes, kicks, punches, chops, you know, um, all of his arsenal basically did a lot of moves in this match. For the European title, Eddie Guerrero was cheating in this match. Lots of cheesy steals. Um, he won. Uh, D Malenko came down to distract the referee. A test came over, of course, and uh, Perry Saturn was outside, and then he threw the title in. Eddie Guerrero hits test for the title. We the match two and three quarter stars. Pretty fun match. Kurt Angle defeats Chris Benoit using the ropes. A very, very good technical match. Uh, they did a lot of counters, reversals, a lot of good holds, doing each other's finisher submissions, doing uh, a lot of good stuff. Hit steel steps were involved. Um, pretty fun match um at the end basically they they were going they were like wrestling doing all these counters and her name got this roll up and grabbed the ropes and won defeated chris benoit three and a half stars china defeats ivory dud this is why i gave it a dud this is why you had so many months and well so many months of build like three four months of build it was a, and then this is what you get at WrestleMania: two-minute match. China dominates the whole match. It was ridiculous. Give it dud. China wins the title with a press slam. Oh. Jim McMahon defeats Vinnie Mac, his pops, in a street fight. This is a very good match. Fun. Tr Trish gets her revenge on Stephanie. This is the time where. Stephanie and Vince were in a relationship and I mean no <laughs> Trish and Vince were in a relationship Stephanie was getting jealous but it was just all a, it was just all a it was just uh it wasn't real they were just using Trish and Trish gets humiliated after after week after week after week and then uh she gets her payback by beating up Stephanie at, Man at Mania. And Shane McMahon wins with a trash can. Like he puts Vince McMahon in the corner and puts a trash can on him. And then he goes from one corner, jumps, does a leg drop to the other corner. Bam, hits him. He was a great athlete. Give it three and a half stars. Edge and Christian defeat the Dudley Boys and the Hardy Boys. TLC 2 match. Um, TLC tables, ladders, and chairs. A lot of great spots. Power bomb through a table. Uh, there's this great spot where Dudley, uh, Bubba Ray Dudley and uh, Matt Hardy were on a ladder. Rhino tips it over. 
uh, that go through four tables, a lot of chair shots, uh, Edge spearing Jeff Hardy when Jeff Hardy was hanging on the titles, a lot of great spots. You get five stars, best TLC match I've ever seen. And Christian win the third time in a row. Did re they really need to win again? Come on. Five stars, though. Gimmick Battle Royal. Uh, winner was the Iron Sheik. Pretty cool to see him win. Um, Billy Billy Jim was second. Third was Sergeant Slaughter. Um, so you got a couple of big names in there. Why was Hillbilly Jim second? I don't understand. Two did Sergeant Slaughter and Iron Sheik had a big sh stare down. But then after the match, uh, Sergeant Slaughter does a Cobra Clutch on uh, Iron Sheik. Pretty cool. NA but fun. No rate battle royals. It was a gimmick battle royal. So uh, Undertaker defeats Triple H. Street fight. This was. This was a very fun street fight. A lot of great spots. Uh, this Undertaker choke slams Triple H off a platform in the middle of the crowd, but he lands on a mattress. But whatever. It looked really cool and phony, but it was really cool. This is where everybody thought Undertaker's streak was over. This is what happened. Undertaker goes for the last ride. Triple H grabs a sledgehammer and hits Tr Undertaker in the head with it. Like, perfect in the head. One, two, other. He kicks out and the crowd goes crazy. Undertaker wins with the last ride and they, for some reason, it had to, he came down with two different finishers. Like he came down with one finisher, his American Badass finisher, and he won with his Ministry of Darkness uh, music. Wait, why did I say finisher? Comes down with his American Badass uh, music, then wins with his Ministry of Darkness music. Pretty weird. Three and three quarter stars. Stone Cold defeats The Rock, four and a half stars, very good match, a lot of fast paced brawling, and you know, a lot of weapon shots. I hated the ending though, Vince McMahon comes down and basically screws uh, Stone Cold, I mean no, The Rock, this is when Stone Cold turns heel. I hated the ending where Stone Cold just like hit The Rock with like 20 chair shots in a row to the back, it was stupid. But whatever, I give the match four and a half stars. Pager gets a 9.75 out of 10. See you guys later. Peace out. Mania 18 re review coming.